What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Xur location and inventory review for the weekend of January 12th to the 15th and so let's get started. And first things first, Xur is going to be located in the tower hangar. All right, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for the exotics, we have the Merciless, pretty darn good fusion rifle here. Uh, then we have the Orpheus rig, not the best roll. 64 is a bit on the lower side. You got a little bit of mobility. Yeah, it's all right at best. It's a good exotic, but not the best roll. Then we have the MK44 standard size 67. Very good stats. Uh, you know, big resilience spike, which you definitely want. Uh but these aren't the best exotics. You can pick them up if you want. Remember guys, I had a whole rant about this last week, but all this stuff costs legendary shards. Legendary shards is being deleted as a currency next season. So if you even think about maybe wanting any of this stuff, just buy it because there's no downside. Then we have the Wings of Sacred Dawn, 67 roll again on the higher side. Quite a lot of mobility, but often you do want that with the wings. Uh, pr pretty okay roll here. So like, you know, some decent rolls here, definitely a lot of stats, but neither of these exotics are super meta uh, right now. All right, let's check out the weaponry. We do have the escape velocity with threat detector, uh, thermal capacitor, no thank you. We have a full auto threat detector, Royal Chase, no thank you. We have a moving target, Adrenaline Junkie, Chroma Rush. I do really like the Chroma Rush. I think it's a very good weapon. And Adrenaline Junkie really isn't this, this bad but it's kind of a non-bow right here. If this was, you know, subsistence, this would be a very, very good roll. After that, we do have the uh, Scocastic Variable. Now, this is actually a very cool weapon because it's one of the only weapons in the game, actually, that can get this phase magazine. So you can actually, as you can see, it's a 900 rounds per minute. You change it to phase magazine and it goes down to 600 rounds per minute. So it will completely change damage archetypes. So that means you can have a 600 rounds per minute with a lightweight frame giving you a bonus handling. Kind of an interesting uh, per, uh, weapon, honestly. And Ambitious is very good for PvE, but Quick Draw is really not what you want, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, pick it up if you absolutely don't have one. Just the switching archetype thing is very cool. Uh, then we have a Without Remorse with Well-Rounded Incandescent. Well, Incandescent is cracked, well-rounded... Not so much, really. Eh, this is pretty mid. Now, this is a craftable weapon. Like, you could technically pick it up and use your uh, deep sight resonance, but uh, I wouldn't uh, with this particular weapon. Then we have a, a threat detector, kill clip, Hooskow, no thank you. And then we have a threaded needle here with Rangefinder Frenzy, not really interested in that. And lastly, we have a Hawk Moon here with Hip Fire Grip. So yeah, hip fire grip and combat grip, double the grips. You know, y y it's unstoppable here. But uh, overall, yeah, that's definitely not what you want on the Hawkmoon. Now, let's go and check the armor here. Firstly, for the rarity, the Midnight Exingent. If I'm right, this is uh, what you would get from the Escalation Protocol activity, maybe? Or something like that? Let me check light.gg. All right, guys, I was right. This armor set comes all the way back from season three of Destiny 2, and it was part of the Escalation Protocol armor set. This is extremely rare, with only 24% of Guardians having access to this very helmet. You can see like Light.gg is giving it a legendary rarity. This is extreme. This is the rarest I have seen in months and months and months, basically since the last time this was sold. So guys, if you have any interest in transmogrification, this might just be the rarest armor set that Xur can possibly sell. Like very few people have this 100%. Make sure to go hit up Xur and buy this set for all three of your characters. Like one of the coolest looking like war mind sets as well. So definitely if you're on the hunt for rare armor to transmog or at least unlock so that in the future you can transmog it. This is, you know, this is a Destiny fashion player's dream this weekend, guys. 100% worth it just for the uh, armor transmog. But let's take a look at the actual, like, stats of the armor. Um, for this one, big resilience spike, to be honest, and then intellect and strength, really not too bad. Uh, then we have 66, which is definitely on the higher end, but no spikes uh, around. Then we have, whoa, 68 for this helmet. Um, massive intellect, massive recovery, and massive mobility. Unfortunately, those are the three spikes you don't want really as a Titan. So, you know, huge number, but, you know, 
I don't want that much mobility and stuff like that. And then for the legs, all right, uh, not the best here. Uh, let's go switch to the Warlock. All right, for the Warlock, we have uh, 64 gloves here with quite a lot of spikes, but mobility being a little bit too much featured in my opinion. Then we have 64 with a big resilience spike, a little bit of recovery intellect. This is a pretty darn good chess piece in my opinion. Uh, then we've got 66 with a massive 30 intellect spike. Well, if you're putting together a build that wants to cast your super all the time, this is the helmet for you. And then lastly, we have 64, really not too spiky. Let's check the hunter. All right, for the hunter, uh, 65 with massive mobility, massive discipline. This is a fantastic piece of armor. Like, holy crap, this is exactly the spikes you want to see on the hunter. Like, this is very, very good. A lot of people should, well, frankly, basically everyone should grab all the armor, but seriously, you're going to want to use these. A lot of people, that's going to be great for them. Uh, 64 here, massive strength, spike, a little bit of mobility, really not terrible. And then 65, big spike to intellect, and then you have a uh, resilience and recovery featured as well really not too bad and then 66 you know no strength but you know decent stats everywhere else not too bad either guys really the highlight has got to be uh this set again extremely rare uh just get it for the transmog very exciting weekend for sure this is this is only the second time uh, this set has ever been sold by Zer. So guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, Always have a good day.